Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your Gemini season tie reading. This message may apply if you have Scorpio as your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. Um, so yeah, this is for um, the rest of Gemini season, which goes until like around June 20th. Um, as I film this today, it is now June 7th. Um, but this message can apply just whenever you see it. Um, it's meant for you. So yeah, what's been going on for you, Scorpios? Um, Mercury retrograde ended on Friday. We're still in the post shadow period though. Um, and Saturn just went retrograde on Saturday. <laughs> and Saturday is ruled by Saturn, so that's funny. Um, so we're kind of dealing with themes around um, karma, discipline, lessons, cycles, things like that. Oh my God. Okay. It's so interesting. I've been like filming um, tarot readings each week. Like the first week I did mutable signs, then cardinal signs, and now I'm doing fixed signs. And so I just filmed Taurus and Leo and I'm filming you guys. Every single fucking fixed sign is getting the nine of swords. So lots of anxiety and overthinking and fear. And for what? For fucking what? <laughs> All right, let's find out what's going on for you Scorpios. Also, I'm just gonna warn you in advance, it is super windy here and my cards are flying everywhere. My phone is flying everywhere. Um, and so if my phone falls, I'm just gonna roll with it. Yeah. So, okay. Page of Cups. Mm, okay. So you could have some um, romantic suitor coming your way. Uh, or this could just be a creative creative idea, creative offer, creative opportunity. I'm going to pull more cards for context. Um, but the Page of Cups is really lovely. It's very like, because, you know, there's pages and knights, which are like the younger energies. And then there's queens and kings, which are like older, more mature. And so this is like a very like young, youthful, playful energy. Um, and cups are about water. You know, you're Scorpio, you're a water sign. Um, so this could be your energy. This could be someone else. But this energy of love and creation and new um, is coming in. So that's that's good. That's exciting. We're gonna we're gonna get some more context for you, Scorpios. Um, yeah. So what is ah? Oh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> so we have the Empress, um, which is. That divine feminine Venus energy, I think, I don't know if this card like is ruled by Taurus. Um, I mean, it makes sense. Taurus and Libra are both ruled by Venus. Um, Taurus is your opposite sign, your sister sign. Um, so yeah, that, that divine feminine nurturing energy. And you know, you could be any gender and have that, you know, everyone has a mix of those energies. Um, so yeah, you could be stepping into your divine feminine. And what that means is not going out of your way um, to make everything happen, not putting in so much, not putting in so much, um, hmm, not putting in so much um, work and effort and like struggling all the time. Like you can kind of just sit back and people will do things for you. Ha ha, ha ha. Okay, whoa, what the fuck is happening? Okay, wow, there's like mm, some, some, something's going on because we have the seven of swords here, the eight of swords, and the first card I pulled was the nine of swords. So swords are air energy, um, the mind, our thought patterns, um, and how that's affecting our lives. So... I want to know what this is in relation to. Um, okay, 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 okay. So there's a there's a story here. We're gonna we're gonna get into it. Okay, so the card that comes out on the bottom of the deck I use as the overall energy, and so we have judgment here. Um, so judgment is all about hearing, hearing a calling. Um, knowing on an intuitive level that there's something that you need to do. 
there's somewhere you need to be some higher purpose is calling you okay this is not the time especially sad and retrograde this is not the time to just do shit like whatever like no be intentional be very intentional you know you know what you need to do are you gonna do it um okay so also this could be in regards to some situation so this could be you this could be someone else but there is some deception going on i hope this doesn't have to do with love that would suck <laughs> okay there's just hmm okay because i know we have the page of cups like i said before and the empress so there are these energies of just this like emotion this creation the empress is a goddess she's in nature literally mother nature um wants to create has so much love um and i feel like you scorpios have been maybe burned in the past i feel like it's a very common thing for scorpios to kind of have trust issues because people fuck them over and that's why you're not super quick to reveal your depth you guys are so deep you're the depths of the ocean and if you just open up to everyone, then that's giving them the power to hurt you. And so I can understand why you have this fear of opening your heart up again, um, of trusting people, you know? Why the fuck would you trust someone if people have hurt you in the past? But these new people that you're meeting are not the same people as the past. So I think you're like learning how to discern um, and read people's energy better um and opening your heart space which is a beautiful thing there is this energy of deception here so it could be you could be someone else either way with judgment on the bottom like justice is gonna occur okay so justice and judgment are, are similar cards to me um justice to me is more like in a a legal sense or a karmic sense and judgment is more I don't want to say religious, but it, I don't know. It, it, it has like a, a big effect on your life. Um, so if there has been some deception, some trickery, some lying, some dishonesty, some shadiness going on, whether it's you or someone else, um, that will be revealed and coming to light. Um, we also have the Eight of Swords, which is like a mental prison. It's your, it's, hmm. It's similar to the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is more like anxiety overthinking. Eight of Swords is like being trapped by your own negative thought patterns. Um, and you're stuck in this loop, this cycle. The blindfold's on, but it's like she put it on herself, you know? So I think life could be easier for you, but you're making it harder for yourself because of these um, trust issues. Um, but like, I totally understand where you're coming from, you know? Like I said, you've been burned before. Um, but it's a matter of using that discernment. Um, but whatever this this truth being revealed, this justice, um, it's coming in quickly. And I see whoever has been honest um, will be reaping the benefits. Reaping the benefits? Whoever has been honest um, in the situation is working on opening their heart um, and finding love creativity new passions um and just being treated like and again you can be any gender but just treated with like this love and respect and admiration like just being who you are and being seen for who you really are and i just did a leo reading and it was kind of a similar message um not a, quite the same but just receiving things because you deserve it um i think us fix signs, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, we're all very fixated on one person, one thing, ah, ah. And so um, we have a hard time letting go of control, going with the flow. Um, and so if we feel some type of pain, like it's not easy to let go of that, um, but you gotta, because how do you expect things to get better if you are stuck in this miserable energy of overthinking? Um, so, I don't know, I, I want to pull more cards for clarification, um, because this is, like, very, I feel like, um, sometimes readings are more about, like, internal development, um, 
but this just seems like there's this situation that's been going on um so you know what this is in regards to but that deceptive energy nah that's not it anymore um okay six of wands um this is about being recognized being literally fucking seen um i have citrine here which is like associated with the solar plexus solar sun being seen um and i associate this card with leo so yeah i think you're being celebrated and you're realizing your worth mm. Mm -hmm. okay you're realizing that you're worthy of praise and admiration because yours is such a loving heart and you are super pure with your intentions so this fear and deception is soon to be a thing of the past very quickly um the things that you've been manifesting are coming to fruition so don't give up hang in there blessings are on their way um but yeah you will you will get through this hurt and this pain um and you will be able to trust again to love again um so that's all i have for you scorpios but i hope this message resonated if it did please be sure to like comment subscribe all that lovely stuff um but yeah i hope you have a wonderful rest of your gemini season and yeah bye